Hey there, YouTube. This is Lucifer Lego Warden coming back at you with another video. So, past week or so, I've been conducting an experiment. Now, as everybody knows, I'm a Satanist. I'm what I call a classical or theistic Levain, which means I follow Levain's teachings, but I actually do believe in real Satan. Now, recently, I found plenty of proof proves Anton LaVey actually did believe in the real Satan, that he was not an atheist. I will be publishing my findings here soon. Excuse me. But I've been experimenting, conducting an experiment that has taken me to a place where Anton LaVey's writings is hated. Not just his writings, but the writings of the rest of the world. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, you may be wondering where that might be. Well, in Satanism, we consider it the filter of the Satanic community. This is the place where those wannabes go. Not always wannabes. But those ones who are trying to get into Satanism and don't really understand it. And I've been exploring it just a little bit. And the irony is, what I've discovered is a little scary. And the group that I'm talking about is called Joy of Satan. Now, some members of the group has welcomed me in, others are resistant to me. Now, what I did is, and I've been reading through your site, what I did was I signed up for a few of their websites, for a few of their forums, and I found their main forum group, and I created a thread announcing myself, giving them my background. And immediately, I was met with a lot of resistance, a lot of pushback. Now, I created a debate, and it's still ongoing. And I started getting some welcoming, you know, people in. But I also wanted to explore what these people's personalities were like. What I discovered was a little terrifying. Now, most branches of Satanism are based very heavily, or even moderately loosely, on Anton LaVey's teachings. Teachings that are based in just sound pragmatism. Now, sometimes you can add a spiritual context to it. Others, tend to, especially recently, tend to take it in an atheistic fashion, which I can find very, I personally find very abhorrent. However, no matter how you take it, it's a very pragmatic, straightforward thought form. Joy of Satan, however, resists all that. And what do we have when we enter into this is a strange world where one woman has created a system of quote-unquote Satanism that believes that Satan is an alien that aliens do exist, that angels are aliens, that will eat your soul. And it's very weird. When I enter into the forum and I look around, whenever Maxine, the high priestess, Maxine Dietrich, um, speaks, she has people literally hanging off of her every word. She's a cult leader. She never reveals her face, though. However, we all know who she is. Her husband used to be an NSM member. I believe he was expelled once the connection to Joy of Satan was found. Being part of a satanic group is not really a problem in National Socialism. There are many National Socialists. Some were even involved in Church Satan. Anton LaVey himself even had a small fascination with National Socialism. 
One logical thing that was actually said in the Joy of Satan group to me was that it's funny on how national socialism is the Satanism of the political world. And this is a very true statement. It really is. It really is. Um, one of the interesting parts about it, it was never given a chance to actually fail. The Nazi Party lost World War II and thus National Socialism was disbanded. But during its time, it seemed to be working for a number of years. But it was built off of a war premise. So who knows if it really would have failed or really wouldn't have failed. But when we compare it to actual proper socialism, they are two different beasts. Socialism has proven to fail. National Socialism, which aside from having socialism in context, is a bit of a different story. But now you add in the context of religion, especially into Satanism, and because of Anton LaVey, the two tend to mesh a little too well. Now you come into the Joy of Satan where they have outrightly, you know, they outrightly preach it. You know, they preach the hatred of Jews. That's one of the big things in Joy of Satan is the anti-Semitism. They go way overboard with the Jewish bashing. Right down to having what they call reverse Torah rituals. Now, how big of a threat is Joy of Satan? Not very much. Not to a whole group of people. Uh, so to speak. Joy of Satan does not promote any sort of in-person meeting. It's all on the internet. And this is why we call it our filter group. The, it's sort of like the gills of uh, the uh, satanic community. So where is this take? Where am I going with this? Well, it is weird. It, it, it really is weird. I've read some of their stuff, and to be quite frank, it, it, some of it's good. Other uh, other bits of it is absolutely batshit insane. So, I'm making this video now, and just saying, you know, if you're involved in most normal satanic organizations... Do stay away from Joy of Satan. I have been hearing multiple different stories from multiple people being psychically attacked by what they claim are demons or entities that are feeding off them. And when they try to report this in the group, the, the statements are always the same. It's always the same when no one's really paying attention to what is actually going on. Yeah. So, yeah. Joy of Satan is an online cult. It is probably one of the last few vestiges of an era of Satanism left that has all but died off. Satanists still use the internet, but we're not involved in as many online groups as there used to be. There used to be there was about a hundred different online satanic groups. Now there's only a handful, fortunately. Most of them are bigger groups. So, yeah, that's my take on Joy of Satan. Am I going to be sticking around with it? Not much longer. I plan on releasing this video in the next few days to state this. If you run across the Joy of Satan group, turn the other way. Walk away. These people are insane. They are fanatics. They are lunatics. They've been taught a style of the occult that is a little bit dangerous, not just to other people, but to, mostly to themselves. And they think it's okay. My recommendation is to stay away from them. Follow any other style of the occult, from Wicca to Voodoo 
to Satan, to normal Levian Satanism. Even the atheistic part. All of it is ten times better than what Joy of Satan is. Yeah, so that's what I got to say to that. If you're curious about them, go check, check out their forums. You'll see some pretty crazy shit. I, I really don't know what to make of it. Read their material. That's another thing. You know, in Satanism, we have, we have plenty of material in Satanism. Our foundational book is just this. Just this. It's an easy to read thing. You can even pick up your know, more satanic scriptures or any number of other occult books on Satanism. Joy of Satan has no books. It's all the website. This group feels that this website is the end all. All right. This group thinks that this website is their Bible. And God knows if you go up against whatever it says. Half of it is plagiarized. Stolen material. Had they... If Maxine Dietrichs, Andrea Harrington or whatnot, uh, decided to publish this in a book, she'd be making a bloody fortune. She would have an endless supply of books. She'd have an entire chain of them. But, fortunately for us, she has not decided to flood the market with her garbage. Now, I know that there are members of Joy of Satan that are now watching my channel. They're waiting for me to make a comment about it. To them, I would say, stop what you're doing. Put down your keyboards. Just stop. It's one thing to be national socialists. I can understand it. The white race is definitely under attack. And I understand you wanting to defend it. But if you're going to do that, get out from behind the keyboard and get out there in person and be an activist. If you want to follow Satanism and study what real Satanism is, there is many other groups, many other places you can go that will give you a much more well-rounded, true outlook of the world than aliens, soul-eating angels, and God knows what else this woman has fed to you. There is a reason why the Joy of Satan website is the only place you will find the garbage that you find. Because it's all untrue. It is all part of Maxine Dietrich's Andrea Harrington. Or Her I, I think that's what her name is. Her own little fantasy world. There is a reason why she doesn't show her face. She used to be National Socialist Movement and got kicked out because she was half mad. Her husband was kicked out for his association with her. She likes to play and makes you play the consummate victim. That's not what Satanism is about. We're not victims. We don't pretend to be victims. The world is not out to get us. And that's what you need to understand. If you're part of Joy of Satan, you need to unlearn and get just get away from that woman. Get away from those forums. Get away from that website. Find a group. There are in-person groups. Hell, even join Satanic Temple as unsatanic as they really are. It's a Far cry better than what that stuff is saying. Go to Church of Satan. Go to Temple of Set. Go to Temple of the Vampire. All of these are more real satanic groups 
then joy of Satan. Go to Temple of the Horn God. Whatever. The information that you guys are actually looking for is out there. And it cannot be found in just one website with a million articles on it. You're not going to find it in some echo chamber cult. That's what it is, guys. You're living in an echo chamber. Grow up. To the rest of the world, stay away from Joy of Satan. My week or two long excursion into their forums is quickly coming to a close. I will be closing my account there within the next day or so. And I will try to exit there as politely as possible without raising too much of a ruckus. But in the end, my advice to any member of Joy of Satan that watches my channel, that is watching my channel, and I know that you guys are out there, the organization that you're in is batshit insane. It really is. If you want to learn the real ways of the occult, get out there. Pick up a book. It could be anything from runes to any number of other satanic books. They're out there. They're real. Not all of it is atheistic. Get out there and study. And what you're going to find is that the real world is nothing like what you've been fed. I ask you this. You guys have supposedly been in ongoing war with the Jews. And in a recent post by Maxine Dietrich, she says you won. The gods are coming back. But they won't be here for another 20 years. So if the gods are coming back, why is it going to take them 20 years to get here? Yes, I know, there's supposed to be aliens traveling through space. But in older posts, it was saying 170 some odd years. Okay? And then in less than a few years, it's now 20 years. Alright, so... How did they pick up pace? And why is it still going to take so long? Where are they now? You're being spoon-fed garbage, and if you look at other cults in the past... What Maxine Dietrichs is doing to you is the exact same thing. Take a look at Jim Jones with Jonestown. Don't drink the Kool-Aid. For now, this is Lucifer Lake of Orden. If you like what you're hearing, like what you're seeing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell notification while you're at it. That way you know whenever I'm putting up another video. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Give me a thumbs down if you don't. Don't forget to share it. Leave me a comment in the comments down below. And please, 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 if you're a Satanist or know anybody getting into Satanism, tell them to stay away from Joy of Satan. If you know a member of Joy of Satan or a person who's involved with Joy of Satan, tell them, you know, show them this video. Tell them where this woman is leading them is wrong. Fortunately, I have not seen anything where these people are a threat to themselves or anybody else, but that could change at any moment. This organization has been around for almost 20 years, and I think it's now time that we shut it down. So, for now, this is Lucifer Lake of Orden, coming back at you, and I'm out here.